the limit switches on the CMD 180. It's actually pretty easy. The motor goes up and down, right like you can see here. The motor goes up to the top of the opening, and then it'll come down. And these limit switches right here set where the stopping point is. It's dreadfully important that you know that. And I'll show you how to do it real quick here. Here's our control box. Okay, the curtain's motor, it's winding down. You can see it rotating here, so that's the equivalent of it going down. Right there, it's going up, but this one's actually going down because it's unwinding. And there's little cams right in there. It stopped because it, we had it set just so, so. Now we're gonna go the other direction. So it's gonna go ying, ying, ying up again. And this little red dot, this is your top limit. This is your bottom limit. So if I turn this, there, that stopped it. I can adjust it again. It started again. So this knobby adjusts a cam right inside there. There are switches, when the switch hits the cam, it turns off the motor. And you can look in and see it. You've got to be careful. This machine can go 40 revolutions. You can't go more than 40 revolutions because this cam will come around one whole time every 40 revolutions. So you just set it, and it comes, the cam comes up and hits the switch. On the CMD 180, the cams come from the outside. If you have the cam on the inside, it's going to take 40 revolutions until it comes around again. So overall, it's pretty easy. And when you're done, you just tighten the, both these little set screws, little Phillips screws, and then you can't turn these anymore. If you leave them too loose, they're going to move on their own. So to adjust them, you may need to loosen them just a little bit to get started. And then they you can easily turn them because once it's tight, even your son could do it. Can you adjust that one? Ooh, turn it harder. Oh, I had it too tight. There, try that. There we go. It's so easy, even your son could do it. 